This tutorial will show you how to use the Surface app with PRman Pixar Surface Shader with RenderMan 21. So the first thing is let's choose a shader inside the app. And for this video, let's choose let's choose a nickel. So and in the nickel you have uh, eta kappa reflectivity and etching and you can use all those values inside of the pixel surface shader. The, that shader is a bit more advanced and you've got artistic control and um, physical control. So the first thing what you want to do if you want to create a metal you assign the pixel surface shader to your object and then the first thing you do is adjust the diffuse component to be uh, zero gain because metals don't have a diffuse contribution unless they have dust or dirt on top of that but that is a different um, different example because it's more advanced and so for the primary spec let's choose first the artistic and the face color in that case would be the reflectivity or the base color so let's first um, add a color um, and we use these values in here so we go to RGB and we enter 0.889 862, 862, and we go for 736 as the blue value, like that. And for the edge color, we we'll do the same thing. Wait, did this work now? I would expect a different color here. Interesting. I think it is. Well, there is something going on. So, anyways, um, let's just change the edge color now as well. And for the edge color, we will choose 842, uh, 857, 826. So this would be the nickel shader using the reflectivity color here. And obviously um, these are measured values, but you can still customize them a bit more in detail. If you want to have a more uh, saturated color in here, you can definitely just adjust it a bit to your needs. So as you can see now, this is a bit more saturated and you get a better representation of nickel. But nickel is pretty silver as well. So um, this would be now a, not perfect but you get the idea and gold would you for gold you would obviously go to the gold shader and use those values instead but let's get back to to the nickel and let's enter eta and kappa which is uh, in the piaman the pixel surface shader would be extension coefficient and refractive index so to do that um, you would go to instead of working in the artistic mode uh, you would be working uh, you would working in the physical mode So I just changed it to physical and you can see the render completely changes So the refraction index in this case would be the uh, the eta value this guy here. So let's change those colors And so this is spec you can actually see that the specular edge color is the attribute name and we will enter one three for the RGB one point 373 and 1.075 and 1.183 this would be the refraction index and for the extinction coefficient which is kappa we would enter these other values so I would enter 6.627 5.173 and 3.626 so these values are now the measured values for for nickel it might be that I um, that I have a bit different values here because the color is a bit more uh, copper like but it can also be because it's just uh, 
the wrong color space or something but let's just double check the values refraction index so yeah you can see here's a mistake it's on 1.5 everything and it shouldn't be on 1.5 so these are correct but I think the refraction index is wrong so this should be actually 1.373 and 1.075 and 1.183 let's see if this is any better let's just re-render re clicking IPR button again to update the it render viewer yeah so this is a bit more it's the, the light in general is a bit bright but this is how it's being set up so you enter those eta kappa values from the shader inside refraction index and extension coefficient and obviously you have controls to make the surface more more shiny with the roughness slider yeah something like that and you i think you can also drag a region somehow um i forgot how to do that actually in it but this is just for the preview so this is how you set up shader so let's just quickly do a different shader pretty rough uh, let's try to do copper and uh, let's just enter those values refraction index I just do roughly now 0 0.1 0 0.8 and 1 so for the copper refraction index we go 0 0.1 0 0.8 and 1 done and for the kappa for the coefficient we do 37 3.7 2 2.6 2 2.4 and this would be my copper it obviously is also a bit pink but so you could adjust those values a bit more but you can see how it's working. This is actually um, saying which color is being absorbed the most and that's the, hence the, the color. So um, this is the typical way how to set it up with PR man. And it's pretty similar. You just need to know which values go where. So refraction index is the eta. Extinction coefficient is a kappa. Reflectivity in this case would be, uh, would be the face color. And the edge color is in this case the edge tint 